Hi everyone, let's talk about Clinic, the deluxe edition of which is on Kickstarter right now and there's hopefully a nice picture of it there. So, Clinic is a game that I've had for quite a few years. I probably like a lot of the people that own it. I saw the Rado run through back in, what, 2015, 2016? I got a copy in the second edition. It's It was you know, handmade by designer Alban Viard and there weren't many copies of it. It came in a little cardboard pizza box kind of thing. And inside that though, we maybe wasn't as much to look at as some of the flashier games. Inside was a, a kind of a beast of a game. It takes the the idea of 3D building that was in Alvin's earlier game, Town Center. In that game, you are building different types of blocks in a 3D city that grows by itself. And I did a video for Card City, which works in a similar way, also from the same designer, if you'd like to check that out as well. Clinic kind of takes that, just the 3D building aspect and applies it to a really, a really heavy, uh, it's, it's not so much a game of planning. You are, you know, selecting your actions and competing against the other players, but it is, I, I don't want to make it sound like a terrifying thing. It's not, I'm sure, you know, game weight is relative. And so it's a heavy one for, from my perspective. But yeah, you you are kind of left to your own devices, depending on what uh, you and the other players do. You know, you do get different bonuses and different specialist modules are available. But how you go about solving the problem of the patients that are available, the staff that are available, and how you are personally going to plan out your clinic, your hospital, is an amazingly deep and, if you can pull it off, a very satisfying puzzle. But I can imagine it can be an equally frustrating puzzle as well if you can't. Uh, one, th one thing to note about it is that there is no kind of catch-up mechanism. There, there's no kind of help in the game. If you mess up to the point where you don't have any money or something like that, you can really ruin yourself for the whole rest of the game. And so it's a game where you kind of, yeah, you, you need to know what you're doing or need to be planning ahead enough that that can't happen to you. But I don't want to sound like I'm trying to put you off it. But uh, yeah, I, I absolutely love this. Just just the logistical puzzle that is you know comes from the, the joy of playing uh, just Town Centre, where that is the whole focus of it. Planning that out to incorporate not just where these people are going to go, how to get the rooms active in putting them in the right place and things like that but trying to work out how far people are going to have to move through your hospital, how much time they're going to waste walking through the maze of rooms that you've kind of created. And do you need different entrances for that? Do you need a helipad? Do you need uh, shortcuts, elevators, corridors for them to get to where they need to go? And which patients do you need to get? In kind of a, a callous kind of way, kind of probably more like the American healthcare system, uh, you are kind of thinking more about the money. You know, if, if you don't have the doctors to treat a certain kind of patient right now, you will be avoiding the patient that's at the front of the queue that's, you know, at death's door because uh, if, if they die in your hospital, that's terrible for your prestige. You know, uh, uh, from uh, a real world perspective, a, a terrible way of thinking about things. But from, you know, putting you in the perspective of, healthcare is a game that's kind of the position you're put into and yeah you are thinking about do i thinking about it morally you're thinking about terrible things but in a gameplay sense you are thinking you know do do i take all of these patients and maybe i wait around for them to get worse because my doctors are great and they can treat them and they're gonna pay me more money if i let that happen uh, or you can just be trying to treat as many patients as you possibly can as as with um a I can't think of the name. Dice Hospital. That is also a kind of isometric theme hospital inspired game, but a much, much lighter game. Uh, you are not necessarily, yeah, just trying to get these people through as fast as you can. You are trying to puzzle out the best time to do it. The best, not just the best patients and the best staff to be able to treat them in the first place. But yeah, when can you pull it off to have a really good round? Because you need to keep the cash flow coming in of course for improvement to your hospital later i keep almost saying hotel every single time uh, you want to keep improving it and adding more facilities and being able to treat different types of patients and things like that 
But also, a really cool part is that not just that you are paying you know, money to earn points, that's, that's the way that you earn points over the course of the game for the most part. There are bonuses later on for how many buildings you've built or how high you've gotten treatment rooms and things like that. But the majority of it is what you have bought yourself. But you are not allowed to just reach into your vast pockets, the, the huge amount of cash that you've been sitting on, to buy a, a ton of points at any time. You have to use the profits that you made in this particular round. And so that's always the the kind of fear that I, I want to buy as many points as I possibly can, but how much do I need for the next round? Knowing that it's kind of uncertain. You don't know what the other players are going to do. You don't know which patients are going to come out. You don't know which staff are going to be available just yet, but you have to make that decision kind of you know speculating on how cheaply you can run the next round and of course not run yourself into bankruptcy where you'll just kind of you know, just spiral the drain and not really be able to do anything there are so many combinations of things to this there are so many expansions to this as well i do have all of all of the original ones anyway i have the three medical dossiers that came with all various components i have to say i've never had a chance to play with them i haven't played clinic very much although it's a it's a game that is intimidating but i really really enjoyed it's uh it's yeah it's it's one that i found hard to get back to the table it's it's good that um I didn't actually realize that it had a solo mode. I was just going off the two to four player thing, but I, I realized in filming this that uh, Medical Dossier 3 comes with solo rules, which just, just changed the setup a little bit. If you haven't seen the playthrough, it's you could treat it as a game with however many number of players. It's just that there won't be competition over the patients, but there are less of them out there to compensate for that. But yeah, there, there are so many different options with capsules and pregnant ladies and satellite dishes and things. So many... Crazy ideas that are you know, very all, all very thematic still that are going to have custom meeples made for them in this deluxe edition. Yeah, I, I don't think I said that. It's, it's, on, it's on Kickstarter right now if you're watching this when it's on. <laughs> for a short period of time. For the rest of history, that statement's going to be wrong. But yeah, for now, it's on Kickstarter. And in the description, you can click the link to see all of the final stuff because anything you saw here is just prototype components and yeah there are no custom meeples in this yet and the game's gonna have a ton of them and an amazing box sleeve and stuff art by you know tool but if you saw the playthrough you saw that bit yeah hopefully that's given you some kind of insight into clinic but the playthrough that i did if you haven't seen that that will hopefully do a much better job that's linked in the description as well and probably next to my face at the end that's a whole playlist of stuff but thanks for watching this one though and i'll see you for the next game bye everyone